Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Natalie, for those of you that are new, and this is As The Pennies Drop. As A Pennies Drop is a channel dedicated to helping you create a life you love, deserve, and desire. I am a conscious manifesting coach and I provide a variety of one-to-one -one coaching solutions to guide you to manifest in your dream life, to releasing those limiting beliefs and to create the self-concept you've always wanted to have. If you would like guidance with this, no need to struggle, no need to be frustrated about things not showing up, just click on the link below, send me a message and I will contact you and I will be more than happy to support and guide you to create that life that you want. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about revision. And when I first started to really take note of focusing on my affirmations and um, intentions and not reacting to the 3D, to the current reality, I didn't actually realize then, this is a few years ago, what I was doing was actually revising situations in my life. I was able to do it on the spot. I was also able to do it in a way of releasing limiting beliefs that I had about certain things, specifically about loving relationships and money. In fact, I've just started to use the revision technique on releasing any more limiting beliefs that I may have had about money and loving relationships. And it is going really, really well. So I thought I would share this with you because I've not actually spoken about the revision technique. And the reason why is because, so this comes from Neville Goddard. And with Neville Goddard's technique, he makes you kind of, in his version of how to do it, he's asking you to go back into the situation and then revise it. Now, I am an NLP coach um, and with NLP, we do that, but you don't have to do that to revise your situation. You, you don't, you don't have to do that to revise your situation. If you can think of it more generally, because, you know, sometimes these situations that have happened to us in the past, they're bloody traumatic. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to keep focusing on where I was. I just want to focus now on what I want and where I want to be headed. And because that's the direction I'm going in. And as you know, that cheesy saying, energy goes where your focus flows or focus flows where your energy goes, a bit confused about that. But you know what I mean? I want to be focused on where I'm headed rather than keep focusing on things that have happened to me in the past. And, you know, we don't always want to be reminded of things that have happened to us in the past and you don't have to. So in this video, um, I'm going to share with you how you can revise situations like that in an instant. It doesn't mean that it actually reflects back in an instant, but you can revise it straight away and how you can release limiting beliefs through this revision technique as well. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Um, I have actually just posted um, a video this week um, based around um, kind of um, negative thoughts um, and why negative thoughts don't matter. And I do touch on a story in there um, where I have used the revision technique um, to get an X back and it worked. So this stuff does work. It really does when you're ignoring kind of your 3D, when somebody is saying no to you and you want them to say yes, this is how you do it. So let's focus on relationships because I know that's what you all love. So um, if we are thinking about a relationship, so say for example, you're not with somebody and you really wanna be with them. It could be an ex specific person. It could be, yeah. An ex or specific person. 
And say, for example, um, the specific person that you want to have a relationship with, you haven't yet had a relationship with, is basically said to you, you know, um, I really don't want to go out on a date with you. Um, you're not my type. I don't really, yeah, thank you. And I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but yeah, no, it's, it's not for me. Now, that's going to hurt, obviously. But we want to not react. We want to just go, okay, thank you for letting me know. And you may go home and you may cry or you may get really upset. You may feel really down in the dumps. You want to pick yourself up straight away and you want to revise that to you didn't hear the no, you didn't hear the rejection. What you heard was they really like me. They can't stop thinking about me. They're so in awe of me. They think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. They are, they can't wait to go on a date with me. They are so excited about going on a date with me. They can't actually believe that I like them. They are, they've liked me for years. And now they've got an opportunity to go on a date with me. It's incredible. That's the story. You didn't hear the other story because that's not what you want. So you want to focus on what you want. And um, that is how you do it. And that's an example of a relationship or uh, with an ex that you want to be back with. And you send a new messages saying, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. I'd rather you didn't contact me again. Um, I'm not in love with you anymore. Okay, that's the story. You say, okay, thank you for letting me know. You can then go home and cry or um, stamp your feet or scream or shout, not in their vicinity. And then you can get straight back on what you wanted to hear. I didn't hear the no. I didn't hear the rejection. I heard we're always together. He or she absolutely adores me. They can't stop thinking about me. They love me. They worship the ground I walk on. They know that he, they know that we are together. They know that we are the only couple in the world that work together the way we work. They know that we're absolutely incredible together. They can't stop thinking about me. They are missing me like crazy. They absolutely want to be back with me. They can't wait to ask me out on a date again. They can't wait to see me again. They can't stop talking about me to their mates about how much they miss me like crazy. They really are still in love with me. They're still in love with me. They absolutely adore me. He's telling all of his friends that he still loves me. This is amazing. This is exactly the story that I'm telling myself. So that's the story you want to tell yourself about getting an ex back. And what you do is you persist in it because that old story that you don't want to think about will pop in. No, no, not on your watch. Persist in the story that you want. Revise what showed up in your life. And that is how you can do that type of revision. You know, you could do it if you, um, you know, you wanted to get a car and your finances weren't quite up to scratch and you were turned down for a loan, for example. No, it's not happening. It's not happening to me. No, I've, I've got enough money. I've got amazing credit. The banks can't wait to give me more money. They know that I'm good for the money. It's easy for me to, to get the car. I've always had more than enough money. Um, the, the car company um, have called me to tell me that actually they've sorted it out. Actually, there was a mistake that, you know, they just put the wrong digit in on the form, which is why it got rejected in the first place. And now they've actually approved me for the car. So that's the story you want to tell yourself. Um, and that's what you do. And you persist in it. You persist and persist and persist. And it is law. It will have to reflect back the more you do it. So there are just some examples of what you can do um, when you're faced um, with kind of the opposite of what it is that you want. And know that it is okay if you emotionally react a little bit or a lot. Just get straight back on it. Revise the situation to how you want it to be and continually do that. And the more you do that, the more you persist in it, the more it will reflect back, the more you will be able to get what you want. Now, uh, with regards to limiting beliefs, you know, I mentioned earlier, now limiting beliefs 
tend to stem mostly from um, our childhood and are perpetuated as a cycle of pattern of belief in ourselves of not being good enough or worthy enough or lovable enough or pretty enough or thin enough or tall, you know, whatever it is or intelligent enough. Um, and um, we don't always want to go back to that story of why it happened and when it happened. Um, and this is a really amazing way to avoid having to do that. And again, it is revising it, but it's doing it in a more gentle way. So you're not actually thinking about what actually did happen. You're just reframing a couple of words to use that will revise the situation. And again, the more you persist in doing this, the more it will feel real, the more this is what you will see showing up in your life. So I've got a few actually written down that I want to share with you. Now, these are general. So um, I'll just go through. Um, everyone has always been so wonderful to me. Everything has always been amazingly perfect for me. People are always so lovely and kind to me. I, I've always gotten on so well with people. I've always attracted such loving, kind, generous, supportive, loyal, trustworthy people in my life. I've always attracted such loving kindness from people in my life. I've always been spoken to respectfully all my life. I've always been on a pedestal. I've always been so incredibly successful. I've always had a successful career. I've always attracted um, full paying clients to me. I've always been in high demand. I've always attracted beautiful, kind, loving friends. I've always attracted relationships that people are in awe of. I've always thought highly of myself. I've always been so incredibly talented. I've always been beautiful. I've always being able to eat what I want when I want and still have the figure that I love. I've always been told how pretty and stunning and sexy I am. I've always been told how handsome that I am. I've always been complimented. I've always received money from all over. I've always created money out of the blue. I've always been treated amazingly and lovingly and wonderfully in long-term relationships. I've always had healthy relationships. I've always been prioritized, loved, spoiled in loving relationships. I've always been in loving relationships where the person is so amazing, loving and kind to me. I've always had the most perfect life. I've always received perfection in my life. I've always received loads of money effortlessly. I've always been able to afford what I want, when I want. I've always been great at relationships. I literally, every person I've been in a relationship with has treated me like a goddess or God. I've always been um, with men that have wanted to and have committed to me in long-term relationships. I've always been amazing. I've always been amazing wife or husband material. I've always been the most amazing girlfriend or boyfriend my, in my relationships. They've always been incredible. Everything in my life has always been perfect. I have always had an amazing, easy, effortless, perfect, loving, kind life. So yeah, I've just read those. Now that has been inspired by a video that I watched from Sammy Ingram. Um, who's a wonderful uh, manifestation coach um, who I've recently started to follow. She's absolutely wonderful. So, you know, you might want to check out her channel. But the fact is, what we're doing there is we're revising those limiting beliefs. So if you think that it was really hard for you to make money because your life growing up um, reflected that back, like you had to work really, 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 really hard for money because maybe your parents had to that's the story that you have been carrying around with yourself so what we're doing here is we're just releasing that limiting belief by saying you've always had loads of money one is easy for me to attract because i've always had it i can always buy what i want i've always been able to buy what i want when i want how i want you know i can i've always been able to have anything you know so we, we literally were revising that limiting belief just by choosing the I've always, or I've, I've, you know, I've consistently, you could use as well. 
And that's the same with loving relationships as well. So if you've struggled in loving relationships, you know, I have struggled with loving relationships. So by revising, I don't have to go back to the painful experiences all the time that I went through in loving relationships. All I need to do is just say, I've always been great at relationships. Um, you know, I've always been with men that have wanted to and have committed to me in long term relationships. I've always been the most amazing girlfriend. Um, I've always been uh, amazing wife material. You know, that's a story that I tell myself now. And that releases the limiting beliefs that I have been holding on to about, you know, how relationships are hard or how relationships, how men aren't kind to me. You know, so I'm releasing that story, the same with the money, you know, my dad worked really, really hard for money. So my story was, I had to work really, 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 really hard for money. And when I was doing that, I was getting pittance, pittance. So I changed my story. You know, I've always had loads of money. Money is always coming to me easy and effortlessly. It's always come to me easily and effortlessly. I never have to work hard for money, but I love working for money. You know, money comes to me out of the blue. It always has done. I've never had to have a, a day in my life where I've not been able to afford what I want. I've always been able to afford what I want. So you see, we're just releasing those very subtly, releasing those limiting beliefs without having to delve into the trenches of, you know, trauma. So give this a go. You know, um, I was really inspired to do this because one, I've, I've been doing it without realizing um, years ago, I was doing it, but also it does work. It really does. As always, I would always say, as long as it's persisted in and you're more focused on this than the lack of or focusing on the limiting beliefs that you hold about it, um, the more you focus on this, the more you'll start to see your outer world change. So as always, that's it from me today. Um, again, if you would love to subscribe to this channel, I would love your support. I'm now looking to get 200 subscribers and um, or something better. And I'm going to say that because that's a law of attraction statement. This or something better. 200 subs bleh, subscribers or something better. So your support would be incredible. Um, and thank you again for all of you that have supported me so far on my journey. Um, I'm just under one year of As the Pennies Drop. And um, it's been, yeah, it's been wonderful experience uh, building up this business. And your support um, is just yeah, it means the world to me. Um, and again, just before I go, if you want some help with this, don't sit, don't struggle, don't suffer, don't get frustrated. Just click on the link below, send me a message. We can have a chat and work out what the best solution, coaching solution is for you to get you what it is that you want, a life you love, deserve and desire. And that's it for me today. Take care and I'll see you soon.